Like all of you, I just want more FPS in every video game. It's really easy to think that you're going to be stuck with low FPS until you shell out hundreds of dollars, but today, I'm going to unlock the full performance of my $800 laptop to double my FPS. And to do just that, we'll be using a free app called Hone. They provide the tools to achieve ultimate gameplay and boost FPS by rescuing computers from bloated software. With this tool, I no longer have to find a job, and according to them, I'll be able to increase my FPS by 107%. So this is how it went. After downloading and opening the software, it includes optimizations that usually require multiple different apps like timer resolution and mouse optimizations, but it puts it all in a single app where all you need to do is click switches. And by using their app, I got tons of viruses, which is exactly why I'm sick right now. But yeah, people often assume software like this contains viruses, but they have a massive Discord community with 46,000 members. And pros like Mr. Savage and Venno use this app too, so I'd be very surprised if they put malware in their app. But Venno's been acting like the Fortnite Diddy recently, so I don't really know if I can mention him right now. You like Drake? I love little girls. For a laptop user like me, this app was genuinely game changing. Since laptops struggle a lot because they physically cannot draw as much power as a fully powered laptop, not only did it increase my FPS, but it improved my ping in Fortnite, my FPS in AAA games, and my entire experience on my computer in general. So I filtered through the optimization section and it groups optimizations into system, graphic, internet, interface, features, and privacy settings. And because I'm not a PC nerd and I'm just here to see if I can get any better FPS in my silly video games, I checked 10 random optimizations that I thought would improve my performance the most. General Windows optimizations, Disable Game Bar, Disable Cortana, Optimize NVIDIA Control Panel, General NVIDIA optimizations, Disable Xbox, Home Gaming Mode, Gaming Optimizations, Timer Resolution, and MSI Mode. And yes, I've done a few of these optimizations on the channel, but Hone allows you to toggle every optimization on and off for completely free. It's super useful. And it makes it very easy to test which optimizations work and don't work on your specific computer. And with the 10 free optimizations you get with the free plan, you also have access to their boost up features. So I applied those as well. You also have access to BIOS optimizations, which I unfortunately can't do because my laptop's motherboard doesn't support it. And they also have pro game settings as well. So if you want to copy your favorite pro, you can do that in one click. And of course, after doing this, I restarted my computer and I tested out the FPS. In order to test out the actual in-game impact, I compared my laptop's performance before and after by using Fortnite's replay feature. You can see that after just 10 optimizations with their free plan, my GPU is being more utilized and my FPS is consistently 32 FPS than usual. With their free plan, we're not getting the 37% performance boost we're expecting, but 15.7% is not a joke, especially since I only did 10 optimizations. For context, a 4080 outperforms a 4070 Ti by only 9% while costing $200 more, so a 15 15% difference for absolutely zero cost is very notable. So in my opinion, I think the free plan is definitely worth it. Editing Electron here, I have no idea what I was cooking, bruh. What was I doing with the script? It is literally free. How can it not be worth it, bruh? Zero dollars is a great price. But they also have a paid option, which is a subscription service. And a subscription service to optimize your computer is kind of a crazy concept to me. I don't see why anyone would pay money every single month just to get a little bit more FPS. But who knows? Let's see if the premium plan actually has a big enough impact for me to justify spending money on this app. So it costs $5.99 every month. So if you pay $5.99, you get to do upwards of 100 optimizations. So of course, because Hone blessed me with their premium plan, I enabled the rest of the basic optimizations and enabled all of the premium optimizations that I was unable to access with a free plan. So after applying all of those additional optimizations, we managed to pull an average FPS of 230, which is 42 FPS higher than the 188 that we were getting before I downloaded Hone. So this is now a solid 20.9% increase in FPS. That's pretty cool, but that's not exactly the 37% that they promised. So let's see if the last few optimizations they have in store will get us to 37%. Earlier I was putting on every single optimization because I didn't care about what they did, I just wanted more FPS, but these are advanced optimizations so make sure that you understand what each optimization does before you actually put them onto your PC. Just don't disable Windows Defender, that would be pretty stupid. And yeah, I don't think the advanced optimizations did much at all because we gained literally one extra FPS. But wait just one second, we actually got some really good and surprising news. We managed to jump from 340 to 460 FPS while looking at the sky in creative, which is exactly a 30 percent difference so if you do like playing a lot of creative 1v1s then you will definitely notice much more consistent fps and it will be a much better experience while using hone i know a lot of you don't just play fortnite and enjoy other games as well except for the couple of you 13 year olds that are trying to go pro in fortnite 
y'all need to go do something else. But in GPU intensive AAA games, I'm actually getting good results. We went from 99 to 103 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is a 3 to 4% difference. 3 to 4% is actually a lot because let's say we optimized your height, you would literally go from 5 foot 0 to 5 foot 3. That is a huge difference, bro. 3 inches, dog. And I know that a lot of you might be skeptical if this is a virus or not. And because this video is sponsored, you can't really take my word for it. But let's take a quick look at Hone's history. A lot of people have been asking me to review this software for the longest time, wondering if it's a crypto miner. I cannot believe this actual gooftron just said that Hone was a proven Bitcoin miner. Proven by who? Your mom? Bruh, Hone Control or Hone.gg is apparently a virus. You can see that there's only one flag and just by all the details, it looks like it's a false flag. You'll see in the comments that there's just more people. Yeah, Deep Instinct is known to false flag. They have been contacted to resolve this issue. And yeah, it does give a performance boost and it is a false virus. But it's definitely not the smartest thing to believe everything you see on the internet. So I asked an actual PC tweaker what he thinks about Hone and it turns out that he's actually an ex-Hone worker. And basically he said it's not a virus or a scam, but it's just not something that he wanted to work for. So that's pretty fair but after a week of using hone i've never seen anything suspicious in my task manager and also my antivirus hasn't detected anything so it's definitely not a bitcoin miner click the link in the description to download hone but if you do want to optimize your pc without having to download anything then check out this video right here